Quilts, and I'm back with an EQ lesson. Last time we were working on quilt blocks, and I just wanted to show you that you can also go into the library, pick a block, and then you can modify that block. So I am on the opening screen of EQ, and I'm going to go in and open an existing project because I'm just keeping all of these lessons in one place. So I click that and my machine is already running slow and I just rebooted so we <laughs> I'm hoping that I can keep this lesson very short and so I've been saving everything in T quilts video so I'm going to go ahead and open that and when I get to this screen I'm just going to say edit. I don't really want to work on anything. I just want to get the file open. So now we're going to go up to your upper right corner and we're going to click on block work table. And then we actually are going to make a new piece block that's going to be easy draw style. So click that. And we have a block here so we're going to no I think what I want to do first is that I want to pull a block up from the library and then use that block and make some edits so let's just ignore everything that I've already said it was just good practice we want to go up to your menu bar up here at the top where it says file edit view work tables library and block so when we come up to the top we actually want to click on libraries and we want to click on block library and we worked in this library a little bit before but i just wanted to show you a little bit more you can use the scroll bar and zoom down to look at the various categories of blocks that you can pick out of here you can also do contemporary piece foundation piece classic applique contemporary applique motif stencils overlaid border blocks and sashing and anytime you click these plus signs it will open up the additional folders under those particular blocks so I'm going back up to the top I'm in classic piece and I want to find something with stars so let me see if I can find something with stars yeah we're going to click on variable stars so under classic piece you want to click on variable stars and then we want to click on the second block called variable star in the first column so we're going to click that and then we're going to go up and say add to sketchbook and we're going to come back and talk about these other files here as well so for right now though we're going we're going to go ahead and close out now what happens with that block is that we now have a block that we can use so we want to actually edit that block and we could have clicked edit on it as well so we've got to go to our library over here because we now have it saved over here so let's go to view project sketchbook we're going to click on blocks this is just good exercise for you to know how to get your blocks back out and then we're going to take the slider bar and go all the way to the end because it's going to be our last block that we just put in and then we will highlight that block you should have a blue box around it and we're going to click edit 
Now this block automatically comes up on our screen as four inches. It doesn't really matter what size the block is while you're working on it as long as you've got divisions that you can use that are easily to be divided by. So for me, I like to work on 12 inch blocks just because it gives me some additional lines. So I'm just going to go up and change my block size to 12 inches. And that's also like a quilting standard for block sizes as well. So that also helps a lot. And I have 16 snaps horizontally and vertically. So we might want to change this to like 48. Let's see what 48 does. I just want to make sure that I can go in my four and a half, six, and seven and a half. And that actually gives me snaps so that I can be able to draw some additional lines. So let's say that you had this plain block and we've already got it saved in the sketchbook over here but we wanted to do something different say we wanted to have a nine patch in this center so you can actually click on grid over here under easy draw block if you click on grid mine's already have that it's a three by three i must have already done it before if yours is not saying a three by three then make sure you change these numbers for the columns and rows into three by three then when you come over on the draw area, you have a plus, but you have the little grid following you. You want to click where that node is at your three inch interval, intersection, and you want to click and drag that down to the nine and nine interval. So you've got nine inches over here and nine inches up there. And then it automatically puts in your nine patch block. Now we can go and click up here on color and it has now put that nine patch into the center of our block and we can just pick any color from our grid and we can color in our nine patch. Maybe you might want to keep the background here the same. Maybe you might want to change it. But one thing you want to do every time you make a change is don't forget to go and click the plus to add this into your sketchbook. Then maybe you might want to put a different color in the other areas so that your star shines again. And so anytime you make a change, you can always add the add it to the sketchbook. That way, if you want to go back to something that you've already previously done, you've already got a copy of it in the sketchbook. So we're going to go back up to the top. We're going to go back to draw. We just want to go back and do some other edits. So we now have a nine patch in the middle. If we did not want that, you can go up to edit. And it says it can't undo because we've already gone in and color it. But if we wanted to go back, then we would just go into our sketchbook and pull up the original version that we had. Or we can manually erase all of these lines that we just added. But for right now, we're just going to keep going. Let's say that we want to put a half square triangle in these corners. So we're now going to click on our line tool. And we're going to go up to that three at the top, your zero and three line and take it down to the zero and three line on your left. And then you can continue to do that in all four of your half square triangles. So we're just drawing a line diagonally from corner to corner. And then we're changing the look of the block. So we go back into color. And we now see that the block has changed some. And we can go and do what's called a color finder. Say we wanted this half square triangle to be the same fabric as this half square triangle. So you can click on this eyedropper tool. And then when you come over and click on it 
it will automatically pull up that color. So now when I go and click in these other areas, I now have that color to make the block differently. And you can already see how that changed the look of the block. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into my sketchbook. So let's go back out and say we want to go back into draw. We're still not done with this block yet. Maybe we want to, we might want to do some string piecing here. And when I draw these lines, just note that you don't have to do string piecing exactly to these sizes, but we're just going to put in some lines just for the sake of this video. So we're gonna draw a line at the one inch node. So it's one inch, it's right here from the top. And then we're gonna skip the next line going down and go into the second line. And then we're going to do that all the way around. So we'll be skipping a line, draw a line, skip a line and draw a line and continue that all the way around. So now we're gonna go back into color And so right now we have the greens all as one fabric, but we can go in and maybe we want to do some shading with the greens. So let's go ahead and click on the eyedropper is already clicked. So let's see what green this is already. So now we see that it pops up in the box here. So maybe we might want to do some gradually darker greens. So let's pick I got the second green, no, I got the third green in the column now, and I'm going to put that into the second position and do that all around. And you can see how that already has changed the look of the block. So I'm going to go ahead and put save, add that project to sketchbook. And then I'm going to go ahead and see what it would look like if I made it even darker green all the way around, including my half square triangles on the outside edge. And that looks pretty interesting too. It looks like the block is receding now. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into my sketchbook. So basically that's how you can change or modify a block. But let's say that we've got this nine patch in the middle and we really don't like the nine patch and we wanna change it out. We can just go back into draw. We can get our pick tool and we can draw, we can click and drag, but it's not gonna be very effective because we've got so many lines on the outside. It will highlight some of your points and you can hit delete and it will delete some of the lines. And then for the other ones, you're just going to have to click each line and hit your delete key on your keyboard. So I'm just gonna do these one by one. Let's say that we wanted to have instead an square in the square block here. So we could also draw it by taking our mouse and we gotta first change to the line tool. I'm sorry, gotta change to the line tool. And then we're gonna click our mouse at the six and three spot. We're gonna click and drag and then we'll release the mouse and we'll do that four times all the way around. And then we can go over and click on color up at the top. And now we can see how that looks as a square in a square. And again, we've got the eyedropper selected. Let's go ahead and 
hit the eyedropper to select one of the colors that you already had in your nine patch and we just want to recolor it so we can see what it would look like and then we can click add that to sketchbook as well so let's go back so let's, we might want to add one more square in the square here so we can go back to draw. And this time I'm going to go down and I'm going to go down and skip one, two, and I'm going to use my third dotted line. And I'm going to click and drag across. And then we're going to do that three more times for a total of four. And we're just putting one more square inside the square. And then we'll go back to color again. And then we've already got our color selected, so I'm just going to click it in the middle and put this green in. And again, you want, might want to add that into the sketchbook. Or maybe I might want to use this fabric out here instead so I'm just going to click my eyedropper click this fabric and then I can go and change all of these to that outer green fabric and say add to sketchbook so there's many ways that you can modify blocks that have already been started in electric quilt so for right now I do want to take you back to the library the block library so I'm going to click libraries up on top and then select block libraries and we were just working in this section with the variable stars here and I just wanted you to see that there are many variations of the variable star here for you already and this would make an excellent sampler quilt of just different styles of variable stars so EQ does a lot of the work for you and then you can just come in and change it to the colors that you want or like even if you pick this one here on Addie's album you could still do something different in the middle so you're kind of making the blocks your own as well but any of the blocks in EQ are any of the blocks in EQ are copyright free and so you can use them and modify them how you wish so I am just going to stop this video here because I'm running out of time and I need to get this one edited so I can get it uploaded for you and next time we come back we're going to work on a custom quilt layout and that's probably going to be in some lessons because I can only record so much at a time but I want to show you that if you have a lot of different size blocks that you can make your own custom layout so that you can utilize those blocks into a quilt so i will see you all next time thank you so much for watching bye bye everybody mm -hmm.